What's up, y'all? Yeah, you know who this is. This is Serena from the Hawaii 808, y'all, from the 50th state. Check out my YouTube channel. Like, comment, and share. Subscribe, y'all. Hit that button, y'all. Yeah, you know what time it is. Welcome back. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, y'all. Hit that button, y'all. Well, you guys, we're going to go ahead and do our continuation of To a Wild Rose. This time, we are going to use this gorgeous rose right here. Okay? So, we are going to get started with our Stampin' Up! pad. The Pacific Point is a gorgeous blue. We got Mango Melody and we got Granny Apple Green. So we're going to go ahead and start with our flower. We're going to go ahead and crease, crease it on up. Okay. And just make sure that your crease it's nice and crisp, okay? And let me go ahead and open the blue. I like this because you can just push it and open. Or click it if you want. Open, slide. Look at that, you guys. They made it real easy. For you guys to open okay so you always want to look at the cardstock see what is shorter than the other this side is the shortest so you want to turn it over and use the longest part okay we're going to start with our rows and we're just going to do some random stamping on this Look at that gorgeous blue, okay? It's so gorgeous. And just put that anywhere you want, okay? Look how quick and easy that you can get a card done. Okay. That is good for now. Let's just clean off this stamp. And I love these. And um, you can use a, a stamp pad. I have a stamp pad too. Whatever works to clean your stamp off, just make sure you clean it off really good. Because you don't want it to mess up your inside of your, um, your case that you put your stamps back. Okay, so we're going to close this blue up. Look, the rag got caught on it. Okay, just close it up. We're going to go ahead and use our Mango Melody. And we're going to put our little buds in the buds. There's no wrong way of um, stamping the buds in. Look how pretty that is. Voila, quick and easy. Let's turn this over because now I'm going to do the leaves and I'm not going to use the stem. I'm just going to use the leaves. Okay. Wait. 
with the granny apple green. And I'm going to show you some samples that I did because I did use um, some stems on this. So you just want to do a random, randomly do your leaves. Okay. And then you can also just go like lighter. That one didn't turn out so hot. Let's redo that one. There we go. And then I'm going to stamp off, make it a little bit lighter. And see how different you got the dark, then you got the light. You got the dark, and then you got the light. It is so easy. And then I like to get the corners just to bring a leaf in. And this part right here, a little bit empty. You need to put some leaves in there. It looks so cute. Alrighty. So you see how you can have the leaves and you can keep going as well. Um, how much leaves you want is up to you. Or if you want to put the stems in, I want to show you guys how the stem looks though. Okay. Let so what we're gonna to do too is I'm going to stamp the inside. You always want to do your outside first. Let's get in uh, we can use this side of the paper. Because all I'm gonna do is stamp a flower inside. And if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. You can just use it. Um, some people like to do cards, like a note card, just to write everything in there. They like a blank. So you can do that too. I do some of my cards like that. I just leave everything blank. In the first video, I did nothing inside the card. I just left it blank. So this one, we're going to stamp inside the card and do like a half of a flower. Okay, and just do the corner. There we go. And then let's just get our mango melody. Bring that in. Stamp our bud. And there we go. You see how easy that is? Stamp that on in there. Then they can write here. But like I said, some people don't want anything in there. Hey, it's up to them. Okay. So let me show you. And what you can do is you get your envelope. Move this junk out the way, you guys. Get an envelope. Make sure that you have it on the right side. Stamp it in the corner, just like we did the inside of the card. Put a little stamp in there. Just like so. See that? Okay. Now, we have our sentiment. And we have the leaves stems in there. Okay. And this is the card that I did previously. I have my sentiment. In the kit, it has your die cut. And 
this is the wording that I got out of this stamp set. And I die cut it out and put some 3D dimensional on there and did it on the side as well. Okay, so you can do it up and down or side to side, you guys. Now, look at this flower that's in there. Isn't that gorge? Okay. You see how elegant that is? That looks amazing. Okay. And just open it up. And this one, side. And open it up. And what you can do is go ahead. Oh, let me show you guys something. So when I do my cards, I like to stamp, stamp my cards on the back. Handmade by me. And what I did was I got this from Zazzle. And if you're looking for a stamp that you can uh that you want to stamp on the back that is homemade you can do that let me show you sorry about the the paper but i got the little stamp and then just stamped it up okay stamp it when i get finished once again you can go on zazzles that's Z as in zebra, A, Z as in zebra, Z as in zebra, L, E. And I'll have it listed below so you can check that out. Because they make all different um, designs that you can do. Okay? But, once again, here's our cards. There you go. And your envelopes. And it's a complete set. Look at lucky all right you guys i hope you like this video i wanted to do a continuation so you can see the difference and what you can do with kits okay and we might come back to this other flower later on but today i hope you guys like it on that note you guys Thanks for watching. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, you guys. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, y'all. Hit that button, y'all. Peace. And aloha, you guys. I'll see you on the next video.